What's up guys, it's Eric from HelpfulGuidesOnline.com and today we're going to talk a little bit about the Chromebook and how to expand its capabilities. What you're looking at is actually my work Chromebook desktop and this is the machine that I use primarily during the day. I beat the ever-loving crap out of this thing and I get a lot of performance out of it. And what I'm doing is I'm running a full Linux distro, Ubuntu, right alongside Chrome and just switching back and forth, not like a dual boot, but in real time in a window. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. And it's honestly kind of awesome. We're gonna go kind of quick, so listen fast. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your Chromebook in developer mode. You can just do a Google search for developer mode Chromebook, and you're gonna see this. Google actually gives you good instructions. It's a key combination. You hold escape and refresh together, and then you nail the power button, and you're gonna get a, a scare screen. Nowhere on the scare screen or anywhere in the documentation does it tell you about the control D key combination. Please remember control D. It is your friend and you're gonna need it from here on. Press control D, follow the instructions, disregard the scare messages and let the machine reboot. When you come back up, the first thing you're gonna see is another scare message saying that OS verification is off. Do not sweat it at all, use control D, that's right and it will get rid of that screen. From now on, you're always going to see that screen, but you just control D out of it. If you don't control D out of it, within 30 seconds, it'll, it'll just default into uh, booting your machine up, but control V from now on. Boot is normal, go into your Chrome OS, okay? Um, if you need further instructions on that, although I can't imagine, just again, Google search, pick one of the results. CNET here has a good article. This is old, it's from 2014, but it doesn't matter, it's the same thing. Just read the documentation and you'll be fine. Once you've done that, you're going to get some superpowers. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. If you've played around with your Chromebook and Chrome OS for a while, you know about the cross shell. And you just hit Control Alt T and it will give you the cross shell. Cross is a uh, command line Unix like utility that's very limited. You can actually, it's kind of funny, if you type help, it'll show you some of the commands that it supports. Wow, I can ping something, isn't that great? But once you're in developer mode, it's gonna give you access to the shell. So if I issue the shell command, which is surprisingly shell, watch what happens. Now I have a prompt, and you can see if, if I show you, I'm in root, this is a real shell, and I can do here whatever I would do in a, a normal shell, which is kind of awesome. So next step in the process, go back to Google and search this term, Cheroot. No, 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 it's not a cigar. Cheroot Chromebook. And what you're going to see, the first thing is going to be uh, Dan Schneid Crouton, which is actually right here. Crouton is not a salad topping. Uh, what it is, is, it's the Chromium US Universal Cheroot environment. And basically what it does is it's the hack we're looking for. It's going to allow us to run a full install of some flavor of Linux, whether it be Ubuntu like I have, or I think Debian's available. There's some other stuff available, and all the documentation is here. So just do the Google search and you'll see it. Um, there's a Chrome extension that you can install and use XIWI to run things in, in Windows. Read this page, it's super useful. Um, but the upshot of it is this. Uh, if you were going to install a Cheroot with XFCE, like basically the one that I have, you can just copy and paste this. I'm going to copy this here, and then we'll go back into our shell, and you would paste it. Obviously, I'm not going to do this because I already have this Cheroot, but just issuing this simple command is going to give you the Cheroot that you need. Um, depending on the in install that you choose, it can take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. So just have a cup of coffee, and you'll just see the install running by. Everything's fine. No reboot afterwards. Um, when you're done, it's going to ask you for a primary username. I would just use your first name, it doesn't really matter. Any Unix password, I would use a strong password. Um, and that's it. Then, from the same shell, you can just issue a command and you would do it as a super user, so it's sudo start, and then whatever your, your distro is. And because mine is xfce4, that's what we're going to use. And I'll just issue that command and you'll see it, uh, it mounts the Cheroot. And it's gonna give you a couple error messages while it's trying to connect to, to the XIY, but that's fine. And we'll just allow that to boot. There we go. 
Now you can see that is, um, it's the XFCE desktop with you know, minimal changes that, I, that I've made to it. But to show you, this is a, uh, it's a full on desktop. Um, I can run another term from here. And if I do run a term from here, you'll see where I'm not, where I was in the other terminal. Um, we can go back to the other terminal here, and actually I can, I can start another one. This one is in a process, so I'm not going to bother that. That would, that would, that would be bad. Uh, so I can issue another shell. You see I can do multiple shells. And if you look here, you can see that I'm actually in the root of the actual machine. Whereas down here in the window, I'm inside the precise cheroot. Um, you can do all the stuff here you would do in a normal install. I use it tons for file manipulation and for command line stuff. You can do CLI stuff just really cleanly. But I'm still in the standard Chrome, as you can see, and I'm just doing other stuff. Uh, I can open my other Chrome applications right on top of this. Um, I can open Chrome file managers on top of it, uh, just basically whatever I wanted to do which is kind of super cool. Resize the window, uh, make it full screen. Uh, again, any of the behaviors that you would normally do with that. Um, I have this right now behind a firewall. I don't know if the web browser is going to work, but in, you, in yours it will. Yeah, sorry about that. In your, um, it will. And you can just shut it down, and you'll see it goes away there. And we can go back to the browser and go back to that shell and you'll see it's actually unmounting that partition now it'll take a minute but it'll send the signals and actually unmount everything and shut it down so that's a really great way to extend the capabilities of your chromebook so that you can have a linux desktop a full-fledged linux desktop right next to your regular uh, os and as i said if you're a big fan of unity you can run unity if you like kde you can run kde whatever it is that you're into you can certainly do that so for now this has been uh, don't like that this has been eric from helpfulguidesonline.com if you have any uh, it consulting requirements please give us a uh, give a, give us a ping at helpfulguidesonline.com that's basically it for this time around thanks a lot and you guys have a really good